Okay, give you some eyes. Yes, and yes. With almost everything, we're back with kitten. We're the kitty back up between our legs so she can't back away from us. This is eye maintenance. Koi Koi's eyes are not too bad. In other words, she doesn't tear up as much as some of them do. We're going to put a little bit of this is over the counter um, artificial tears. And I have added a tiny, tiny bit of antibiotic to it. So I don't use it very often. But it helps keep the, that rusty stuff down, which is indicative of bacteria. Yeah, we'll hold their little heads up. Some of them really don't like it. We'll have to show you Kalahari. He, he hates it. And he's been do, having his habit since he was a little tiny baby. Anyway, you hold their heads up and open your eyes if they close them so that the water so that the water gets into it. And you could just use the plain tears too. That helps uh, flush out their eyes. Little makeup pad. I've added some solution to this too. Wipe down their eyes. You could use cotton balls or makeup pads. I'll sometimes just uh, put some water on a washcloth. I'll try to show the different ways I do it. I usually just grab whatever's at hand. And um, yeah, it's nice and clean. She's looking good. Here you go. So Rockaway is one of my higher maintenance kitties as far as eyes are concerned because she has kind of a pushed in face, more of a Persian face. Her eyes are actually looking pretty good right now because I've been keeping up with them, which I sometimes fall down on. She really should be done every day. Wiped out, maybe, uh, maybe sluiced out every few days. We're going to sluice her out today just to show you how. Yeah, she tastes it pretty good. Yeah, so there's that out. That really does seem to help keep it out. Now hers turns into hard gunk right right in here. I mean, and it sticks to the fur, and if I let it build up, it'll actually pull the fur loose. I want to try to peel it off. Right in here. She likes to have her eyes rubbed down now, don't you, sweetie? Feels good, huh? And she looks, of course, the kids always look better when their eyes look good. Persians are bred for their great big beautiful eyes. Oh, huh. there you go. And she is. Yeah, they're good girl. Let me show you the full, full gamut here of all the kids in uh, Sahara. Uh, almost has maintenance free eyes. But as you can see, hers do tend to, hers are getting a little bit goopy this winter. This, the goopiness varies throughout the year too. They probably have allergies, stuff just like we do. I find that um, if hers do get goopy, a little bit of sluicing does help. And she's not an easy cat to work with, are you sweetie? No, she's not. Come here. She's like a slippery eel. She never bites or scratches, but she just can't hold her, can you? <laughs> yeah, we really need to get your eyes done. Mm -hmm. This is how she is with her clipping her nails as well, huh? Okay, be real quick here. Real quick, there you go. We got one. Oh, good girl. Yes. There we go. Okay, no, she doesn't like that. She'll like having her eyes wiped down though. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, and you can see the rust. I don't know if you can see it on the floor there. Yep. Her eyes are a little overdue, actually. Yes, she has such a beautiful face. Such beautiful eyes. You can see how rusty it is. I usually flip it over so that um, I'm not wiping, hopefully, not spreading bacteria from one eye to the other. Yeah, make sure we get this. By the way, if this gunk does build up, which it 
rarely does with her, but with um, Sirocco it does. Got a lot of gunk builds up in their eyes. You can actually smell it. And you might be thinking they've got bad breath when they've actually got bacteria built up from their eye drainage. Good girl. You've got such a pretty face. <laughs>